Hi everybody, it's Diane here with the Art Journal once again. I never did do a page about the 17-year cicadas or locusts. <laughs> I know it's cicadas. So I printed out a bunch of pictures I had taken. And yeah, I'm sorry if you don't like bugs. You were warned in the description. The bottom one is the holes, a bunch of holes from where they came up. You could see in a kind of a sparse spot there in my yard. Yeah, between the clowns and the cicadas, I'm not going to gain too many viewers, am I? Okay, background. I was thinking of just something kind of plain, you know, greenish, and I came across this paper. Uh, either side would be okay. I kind of like this one, it was a little more interesting, but maybe we don't want so much interesting. I didn't try it, let's try. And yeah, these words would show a little bit, but I don't think you'll be able to tell what they say. That's okay. What about the bottom where you see the flowers more? I think I like that better. But okay, what about back? That's probably better, isn't it? What about the top, back? Cause it's a little more green. Okay. <laughs> the last possible way she tries it, which I know you're saying, well, you would have tried it every way anyway, but okay. And since they are bugs and uh, could be construed as creepy, I was kind of thinking, you know, 10 years from now, I'm going to flip through this book and forget that's in there and turn that page and go, ugh. <laughs> so, what if we did some sort of flip thing? And then that way, too, I could write some information. So I just grabbed this green construction paper just to try green construction paper. But I could shape it like a leaf. Is that dumb? Um... Do we want just two, like the same? Do we want them, um, you know, this way? Think about that. Yeah, I'm, as you can tell, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm brainstorming. Do we want smaller ones, like over each? Well, actually, that wouldn't be dumb. Then I could write a little info about each thing photo. It's not a thing, Diane. Oh, that's kind of a cute idea. The green construction paper is kind of stark against this. I could use some of the bottom of this. I could look for more scrapbook type paper or could paint a little or something on this to take away from the starkness. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to pause and at least glue down the background and the pictures. I may do the leaves without you guys. I mean, that's going to be awfully tedious. I don't know. If I change my mind or anything, I'll come back. Okay, and let's back up. Anybody remember the mouse saga? And if you didn't, go watch the video. It's actually a pretty good one. I do say so myself. It's an interesting story. Anyway, Carol, my loyal viewer, I have a few, had a couple suggestions. She said, well, she said on the facing page, but I did it on the back. Yeah. Sorry, Carol. I did it on the back. Um, because it was kind of a story that goes with this mouse that I was, you know, trying to kind of convey. But of course, I, you don't get all the details. So I did write it down. I wrote down the whole stupid story. Um, I punched some flowers, washi tape, and then these are cardstock with white dots punched. They're supposed to emulate the uh, fabric. Here he is. So that was kind of cute, I think. Okay. Okay. And then she also said I should um, make a tag, you know, because I named him Whiskers Bodkin. So I did. That's some sort of 
twill seam binding bias tape something i don't know what it is i picked up you know at a thrift store so i actually printed out a paper and glued it to it and glued it down i you know a tag if i thought about it ahead of time a t actual tag you know i could have looped it and sewed it in the seam that'd have been cute and you could kind of hands do that but this was just a lot easier so there's his name and the year and we have the information now okay all right i'm gonna go play with bugs and then come back hang on okay i am back with old cheap not too great foam stamps of leaves that happen to cross my mind i have what if we stamp on the construction paper for our things let's try it and how are you really going to hinge these to it diane i'm not sure yeah what would you do would you you know leave a wide edge when you cut it would you just do the end you know stem end? i'm not sure maybe i should make an extra one or two to experiment with right <laughs> Well, we have a very humid day going on here. It rained early this morning before I even got up. Then it rained around three. It's not hot, but it's just very humid. Kind of gross. Okay, I think that's actually pretty cool. So what I need six, right? Unless one's going to cover more than one. I don't know. Let's just make some of these. And you know what? If I don't need them, I could possibly use them elsewhere in other craft things. Put a little off white, which this is, and they're calling it ivory white. I don't know. That's, Looks pretty white to me. I don't know. Maybe if you compare it side by side to white, it is different. Okay. So do three of these and then three of the oak. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Are you thinking elm? I don't have any oak trees on my property or elm. I did when we moved into this house, there were two. And if you know anything about trees, you know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah, they croaked. All right, there's three of those. Do we want some snazzier colors? Just, I mean, I don't want them to look fallish at all because this was in May and June. But I don't just want green. That's too boring. I will say these stamps have held up pretty well. I mean, these have got to be going on 30 years old, if not 30. But yeah, you think they might be kind of disintegrating by now or something. I don't, I mean, it's a dense foam, but I don't know. I think they were from Michael's if you really want to know. And I bet they don't even make them anymore. Do they even make these things anymore? I haven't seen any in a long time. Okay. Well, okay. I'll do this by myself. Cut them out. I think what I'm going to do is write on the backs, like I said about like the picture or info or dates or whatever. Yeah, I got to go 
relook at all those pictures and see when I shot them. I didn't think to write that down when I printed them out. Okay, I'm going to have fun with old foam stamps and cutting and I don't know what all. I don't know if it'll be done or not. Hang on. Okay, I think I'm done. I did a lot of fussing and writing and stuff, but who wants to watch that? I did go in with a little colored pencil with some brown, a little color. Some of these were kind of plain. Stamp, stickers. I wrote buzz all the way around because I wanted a border. I couldn't help but adding a ladybug. What can I say? It was just marker. So these are just glued down by the stems. I did, if you could tell, here you can kind of see. I put in another little piece of construction paper just to make it a little more secure. And then I wrote about each photo on there. Um, if you want to try something similar, this is a little flimsy. Cardstock probably would be better, but it, it's okay you know, if that's all you have. So then I wrote a couple little thoughts in there in the middle. And so now I am going to be, have to be careful how I shut this book up. <laughs> okay, thanks everybody. I hope you have a good day out there.